Hello everybody and welcome to Fishing Planet. Now the purpose of today's video is to be straight to the point as quickly as I can so not to waste too much of your time. And the video is to be used just solely as a reference or a guide on how or how it can help you to catch your first trophy perch on Lake Emerald. So in this video we are covering just the float fishing only. I was using red worms, hashtag a hook, more on that later. And there we go. My first trophy yellow perch. Absolutely fantastic. We'll give him a kiss and we'll keep him. Now while you're trying your luck trying to catch these trophy perch also expect to catch a few of the other smaller species that are in this lake as well such as I, th I think we've got the pumpkin seeds aren't we and the blunt nose minnows this method is a very good method for catching the blunt nose minnows if you've never caught one of them so expect to catch a few of these and a couple of the other species in between now within a short amount of time and if you've been keeping an eye in the top left hand corner you will see the amount of time it actually took me to catch my second trophy perch um, using the float just remember this video is meant to be straight and quick to the point just maybe used as a reference or a guide if you're trying to catch your first trophy perch of course other methods are available and uh, i will cover that or try to catch one in there uh, in another video maybe using the uh, the spinners but there you go i was into my second trophy yellow perch quite quickly so let's take a look at the weather forecast as can be seen to catch them two fish i actually took advantage of uh, of the peak time now that's just to be used as a guide or a reference and to help you catch a trophy perch there's my setup on the screen now the depth is four inches I believe that's four inches because I'm fishing in pounds up there so four inches in centimeters is, uh, is approximately 10 centimeters I think but uh, I will confirm that in the video description below or pin it to the top of the comments section <laughs> 